The Nile River and its annual flood has supported and fed civilization for millennia in Egypt. So it was a shock for Cairo when Ethiopia announced they would be building the Grand Ethiopian Residence Hall Stam, or GERD, in early 2011. Egypt, still reeling from the Arab uprisings in that year, struggled really to articulate a response to Ethiopia's move until 2014. With Ethiopia and its other upstream neighbor, Sudan, it agreed to a framework that became known as the 2015 Declaration of Principles to negotiate how to respond to the dam. Progress has been made in negotiations, and there's much that remains technically feasible, but a final agreement still is elusive. The main obstacle may be psychological. For Egyptians, the Nile is Egypt. It's not just a national security concern, it's an existential one. There is a history of distrust. Ethiopia and other riparian states feel that Egypt often took its lion's share of the Nile's water for granted. Egypt is understandably alarmed by the unilateral declarations that Ethiopia has made. At the same time, there has been some progress, and in particular, the rapprochement between President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi of Egypt and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed of Ethiopia over the last year offer signs of hope. There now has to be that extra push that gets to an agreement, and particularly on the issue of the filling time for the dam. Unlike most other major rivers, there is no river management framework for the Nile. With some goodwill, progress with all riparian states on the dam could address years of distrust and contested colonial era treaties. Finding ways to collaborate over sharing the waters of the river could not only avoid conflict, but also pave the way towards creating a Nile treaty for the 21st century.